welcome everyone uh, this video deals with poem 3 all the world's stage written by william shakespeare from your english textbook from unit number 3 william shakespeare was born in 1564 and died in 1660 he was one of the greatest dramatists of english literature during the elizabethan and jacobian age the english language had different ages so he has written 37 plays and 154 sonnets and also he was known as Bard of Avon. William Shakespeare was a prolific writer during the Elizabethan and Jacobian ages of British theatre, the sometimes called English Renaissance. He was a famous writer during the Elizabethan and Jacobian age. Elizabethan age was between 1558 to 1603 and the Jacobin age was 1603 to 1625 so that's the end of the Elizabethan age and the beginning of the Jacobin age the Shakespeare's arrival was to the literature then after his arrival so there was a lot of development and stylish writing in the English literature that is called English Renaissance that's mean the lot of revolution there Shakespeare's play are perhaps his most enduring legacy, but they are not only the things he wrote. The Shakespeare's poems remain popular to this day. He not only wrote the plays and left it as his own legacy, but also he wrote many poems that was very popular during these days also. The Shakespeare's rich and diverse the works have spawned countless adaptations across the multiple genres and cultures. It's nothing but his writing brought many impacts in culture in different period of time. His writings have been compiled in various iterations of the complete works of William Shakespeare, which includes all his plays, sonnets, and other poems. Uh, William Shakespeare continues to be one of the most important literary figures of the English language. So all these, the writings, that comes under one title, the complete works of William Shakespeare, include all his writing like plays, sonnets and poems. And he was one of the unavoidable, the most important the figure in English literature because he contributed a lot to the development of English literature. The phrase all the world's stage is the beginning of a monologue from William Shakespeare's As You Like It, spoken by Jocks in Active Seven, Scene 7, line number 138. The titles were taken from the Shakespeare's play As You Like It. So it was spoken by one of the main characters in that play, Jocks, in the Active Scene 7, line number 138. Here, monologue is nothing but a single man performance, it just he gives. The information to the audience. He composed the world to the stage and a life to play and catalogued the seven stages of man's life. Then here the Shakespeare compass the whole world as the stage all the men and the women are player on the stage and he categorized the seven stages of man's life from birth to death. Uh, this is one of the Shakespeare's most frequently quoted passage. It's a very so well known the course of William Shakespeare. Now let's move on the poem. All the world's stage, and all the men and women merely players, they have their exits and their entrances. Exit means death, entrances means your birth. And one man in his lifetime plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. Here, a Shakespeare considers the whole world as a stage. So where men and women are only players or actors on the stage. So they enter the stage, that means come to the earth. So when they are born, on the exit, when they die. Every man during his lifetime, they play seven roles based on ages. At first, the infant mewling and puking in the nurse arms. The first stage is that of an infant, the newborn baby. He helps a child in his mother's arms. Often he is making a mewling sound. What the mewling? 
a small weak noise that a cat makes how the cat makes a, a small sound like that the newborn baby makes and puking puking means the vomiting the often the newborn babies the vomiting in the hands of the caretaker the first is completely dependent life on the caretakers or mother or the nurse then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and a shining morning face creeping like snail unwillingly to school the latter emerging as a school child the whining schoolboy whining means the making crying in a unhappy way so with his satchel he slings is the school bag over his shoulder and creeps most unreluctantly unre- to school and just he the moves to school very slowly like a snail because he is not interested to go to school the satchel means here a long bag on his shoulder and then the lover the sang like a furnace with the awful ballad met with his mistress eyebrow the third stage that gives the role of a lover who sings a sad ballad for his lady love at this age he is with energy and tries to get her attention so he is ready to do anything to get her attention so this stage passes so quickly by composing merry and joyous songs to her then a soldier the soldier is the fourth stage a full of strange oaths oaths means he have promise at this age he has a chance to make different kind of promises to others the beard like a pod and also he as a beard like a pod pod means refers to here leopard is a brave animal so he is braver compared to the the brave animal the wild animal leopard a jealous in honor so he is very cautious to seek honor and respect from all what he does sudden and quick in quarrel at the age he is a very short tempered manner so easily he involves in the quarrel and the fights they are seeking bubble reputation so what does it mean by bubble reputation a bubble is empty so by seeking the bubble reputation shakespeare means a short lived glory so he one he knows is a fame is a very short living short lived one but he wants to have it it's a very short lived so he wants to have it then even the canon's mouth so to get the fame and the glory you never fear of standing in front of a canon's mouth canon means a here the huge gun so he never fears of anything and then the justice uh, here is the fifth stage the middle aged man in fair round belly with a good cap on lined with eyes severe and a beard of formal cut the full of wise sauce and modern instances and so he plays his part the fifth stage is the middle aged man he looked very fat so because of eating too much of well cooked chicken the capulin capulin means the man was the fat from eating good chicken and with eyes severe so because of his maturity and wisdom he is very firm and serious and also has a the formal cut there is no stylish cut on his head the full of wise sauce because of his maturity and wisdom he speaks very in a wise way so he advises all the good things to the others and also the size of the modern instances so he plays his part well at this stage the sixth age shifts into lean and slippered pantaloon the sixth age refers to age the one in this age the man has become weak and thin with the spectacles and nose on the pouch on side that he uses to wear the spectacle to see the things very clear and also he keeps a pouch with money to keep all the necessary things with him he uses youthful hose youthful hose is nothing but very tight trousers so once they used to wear when they were young well sewed a world too wide for his shank shank so but now he cannot use it because the man become very thin and weak so the trouser so became very loose to wear and his big manly voice turning again towards the childish trouble the pipes and the whistles in his sound once he had a the manly voice the powerful voice but now the voice the changing into a childish trouble 
child is troubled means okay the sex cure is referring a boy's high pitched voice the aged man's voice became a the boy's voice so when he try to speak it he trembles and also voice is not clear because he had lost his teeth because of his age last scene of all that is the seventh stage that ends this strange eventful history a second childishness and a mere oblivion sans teeth sans eyes sans taste sans everything here sans means without oblivion means forgetfulness a seventhly the last stage of all the shows a man as a second childhood his condition becomes a very miserable he has grown very old and weak he loses his teeth eyes taste and everything one by one finally he loses his life too so he becomes almost like a child and forgets everything about the past so the final stage that the seventh stage is called second childhood now let's see the book back appreciation questions the given first question then the whining school boy with his satchel on the shining morning face creeping like snail unwillingly to school which stage of life is being referred to here by the poet the second stage the school going boy the second stage is being referred here what are the characteristics of this stage the boy is reluctant reluctant means unwilling to go to school so he is crying how does the boy go to school the boy goes to school slowly like a snail because he is not interested to go to school which figure of speech has been employed in the second line what is the second line here the shining morning face creeping like snail so like is a direct comparison between two dissimilar things so it is a simile the simile the boy's movement is directly compared using the word like the second one then a soldier full of strange oaths and a bird like a pod jealous in harness sudden and quick in quarrel seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth what is the soldier ready to do the soldier is ready to guard his country so explain the bubble reputation the bubble is empty so by seeking bubble reputation it is understood as a short lived glory the next one so what are the distinguishing feature on the stage the soldier is very aggressive and ambitious because he seeks the respect in everything what he does he seeks reputation in all that he does that he promises solemnly to god his country he thinks great of his honor this is the third one and then the justice in fair rounded belly with the go the cap on line with eyes severe and a beard of formal cut the full of white sauce and the modern instances whom does the justice refer to here a justice refer to a judge the man in the fifth stage of life then next describe his appearance he is a fair and healthy full of wisdom he has a round belly he cites modern instances that his eyes are severe and he has a beard of formal cut the next one how does he behaves with the people around him he is very firm and serious with the people around him because of his maturity and wisdom then what does he do to show his wisdom so he advises people with a wise saying and examples from contemporary life so he gives the good advices to the people around him The next one, identify the figures of speech for the following 
lines the first one all the world's stage it's a metaphor because the world is indirectly compared as a stage it's a metaphor the next one and all the men and women merely players it's also a metaphor because all the men and the women indirectly compared to the actors or players on the stage the next one on the shining morning face creeping like snail there is a direct comparison because a like is used here it is a the moment of school child school boy the compared to the moment of snail so it is a simile a full of strange oaths and a beard like a pod so it's also simile because it's a direct comparison like is given the beard of the youth is a compared to the pod then the seeking the bubble reputation it is a metaphor so because the reputation of the soldier is indirectly compared to a bubble bubble means here it is a short line short lived glory then is youthful host will save the world too wide it's also a metaphor because the world refers to the the wide trouser the host means once it was a tight one now it is a very big and wide because of his the body become very thin and lean next one and it is a big manly voice turning again towards childish trouble so here it is a alliteration we can find the alliteration turning towards trouble the alliteration means the more than one word starts with the same consonant sound the word starts with the ta sound turning towards trouble Thank you.